Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we're doing something a little different. I let Matt walk into my whiskey storage room and pick a bottle of anything you wanted to do the video on. Yeah. And I was actually quite pleased and surprised when he picked up the George Dickel Private Barrel Select, or Barrel Select, not private, just Barrel Select. It's a small batch Tennessee whiskey at 86 proof. I've had this uh, bottle for a couple of years now, and I don't know, have you ever tasted it? I don't know, I have not tasted this one. That's why I picked it out. Okay. Um, we tasted that... Vickel collaboration with, was it Leopold Brothers right. not too long ago? That was a rye though. So, this is a Tennessee right, yeah. whiskey. You know, this is basically a bourbon that's been put through the charcoal milling process. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and frankly, I, I like anything Dickel puts out. I've yeah. never had a product from them that I didn't like. Uh, it's a great Tennessee whiskey. So why does Jack Daniels get more attention than Bickle, do you think? Like, in Well, because they were very popular in the 1960s. They built their reputation in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're my age or older, you know, if you went to a rock concert, there was somebody on the stage drinking Jack Daniels. Yeah, I remember um, when I first started playing guitar, um, in one of the guitar magazine ads, it was there was a... I don't even know if you can do that anymore. It's like... Uh, can you do liquor ads anymore in magazines? Yeah. Oh, you can't? Okay. But uh, it was Jimmy Page, and like the ad was him. Like He had a bottle of Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels. Like, and I'm like, so it was basically, it's not because it's better whiskey. It's because their marketing team was amazing. That's true. Yeah. I mean, Jack Daniels is good whiskey. But right. I, don't, I wouldn't yeah. say it's better than George Dickel. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's any worse, but I wouldn't say it's any better. But it's just all over the place. But it's all over the place. Yeah. That's why it's so popular. Mm -hmm. So this is the George Dickel Barrel Select. It's mm -hmm. got a really nice nose to it to me. It does. Lots of vanilla. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of that maple uh, charcoal smokiness. Mm -hmm. A little apple. Maybe mm. a hint of like maybe like white pepper. I was gonna say cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah. But then you get the all you get that oak, of course. Well, let's taste it and see mm. what. It, all right. Lots of vanilla. Lots of vanilla. Lots of like cherries, berries. It's so fruity. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't get like too much of that like charcoal, um, maple charcoal, till the finish. And yeah, you get a little smokiness, but it's on smoke. the finish. Yeah, it's not overly smoky, which is great. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's very fruit forward, which I'm surprised about, you know, like, um, yeah, just nosing, I would, I would think more. Yeah. Just your classic... Yeah. But it, it, it's a, that's a nice sipping, you know, 86 proof. It's uh, um, 86 proof is what I always consider the kind of my lowest proof that I would right. like. I would, you know, there's very few 80 proof whiskeys that I really like. Yeah, yeah. You know, because when you get down to 80 proof, it just gets thin and watery. Mm -hmm. 86, it's, yeah. it's still there. I mean... I'll be honest with you, I'd really like to have this at a 90 proof or a bottom bond. I agree, yep. But this is really good. It's really good. Um, but I, I, I agree with you. I think a lot of the flavors would come through even more with a little, yeah, like... A little more proof. 90 proof, yeah. Yeah, 90 proof, right. just to, mm -hmm. you know... But uh, it's still really, really yeah. tasty. Well, let's see what it does with cranberry. I like a lot of... I drink with uh, like whiskey with a lot of newer people that you know are just getting started, and when they say smooth, they mean eighty proof because it's watered down, and yeah. they're not used to the good flavors mm -hmm. yet. You know that you right. can pick out once you start tasting a lot of whiskey and stuff like that. They're like, oh, it's smooth, but that's 
because it's so low proof. It you know the cranberry kind of disappointed me. Oh yeah. It kind of washed out a lot of the flavors. I'm getting a little vanilla. Oh, yeah, it's bland. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You know? Interesting. It, it give me, it's a little tart. Yeah, it's a little, like, it, it, it gives vanilla, a little somewhere. tartness, and then you get that kind of smoky finish, and then that's it. And I think that might be because it's, because it is 86 proof, right? It just can't hold I up. Think, I think it is. Maybe it just can't hold up to the extra sugar. Let's see what it does when you add a little uh, uh, extra tannins to it. nice. Oh, that's better. Mm-hmm. Definitely better than the cranberry. Way better. Yeah. I'm getting lots of vanilla, maybe just a hint of dark chocolate. Mm-hmm. Then I'm getting a little bit more of that fruit, but I'm not sure that it's so much berries now as it might be like ripe pear. Ripe right pear. I'm getting a little toffee in there. A little um, toffee? Yeah. Um... Very pleasant finish, like like kind of toffee and oak and mm-hmm. and even a little chocolate on the finish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the finish is much is much longer, and more more interesting. Mm-hmm. I kind of like this with the pecan. Uh, yeah, definitely better than the cranberry. Way better. Yeah. Yeah. Night and day difference. Yeah, I agree. Well, let's see what happens when you add a little chocolate to it. It's actually pretty good. It really brings out the caramel. Mm-hmm. And it really brings out that pear, apple, ripe, very ripe apple mm-hmm. or pear. Then I'm getting just a little bit of more of a baking spice, more like, you know, cardamom, allspice. Yeah. And then the finish, I mean, it's just a little smoky from that Lincoln smoky. process. Perfect, perfectly smoked, though. It's not overly smoked. Right. Um, uh, it's, yeah, it's like a, almost like a smoked nut almost for me. Yeah. Like, I don't know what that is. Maybe like a roasted, roasted nut of sorts. I don't know, but uh, really good. And maybe even a hint of leather on that finish there, but... Uh, very nice. Very nice stuff. I can't wait to hit the vault again and for the next one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, to George Dickel. George Dickel. Make good vault. whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.